Mario, you lazy plumber, quit sleeping on the job. Anyway, hey everybody, this is the Furious Planes back in the episode of Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy in the last episode. We cut, we played hide and seek with bunnies in this episode. We're gonna talk to Mama. I've been waiting. I've been watching you from here. This place is called the Gateway to the Starry Sky. Give me one second, guys. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, I had to fix my TV. Because I couldn't really see the text. That was kind of why I was messing up the beginning part of it. Anyway, I'm going to finish getting my ability. My name is Rosalina. I want to show over and protect the cosmos. Save your special one. You need the power to travel through space. Oh, it's like Luma. My friend. Luma can give you this power. I will entrust you with its care. And... Fusion! We now have... The ability to spin! We can shake the Wiimote to spin. The disaster struck us. Just as it has visited you with Luma, I hope you can rescue the Grand Star. May the stars shine down on you. Grand Stars! We'll get into those later in the game. And Power Stars, which are more relevant. Anyway, shake Wiimote and spin into things that look breakable. Even. You can even spin into enemies to stun them. Anyway, let's go and break this one shot, and BAM! Once you're in there, you shake the Wii Mouth to spin, and you can never leave. Now, this is where the music is nice. Anyway, we're going to be collecting star chips. Uh, this Luma over here had, um, a grand star ready for us, but what ended up happening was, is that, um, a meteor broke it apart. Anyway, you're probably wondering, TFF, why did you leave that one there? You'll see. Anyway, we're gonna come up here, grab the survive. You're in one additional Mario. Basically, if you die, you use up a life. Once you use up all your. You gotta kidding me! I died already? Jeez. I thought I was gonna die. See, I told you. Dang! I can't believe I already died. And that was kind of. That was kind of unlucky, too, of how I did die. So, yeah. That sucks. I mean, I was trying to go in no death run, but apparently that's not gonna happen. Anyway, let's start chip. So, here I was hoping I wouldn't get hit again. And, the one show repair right here. That's kind of why I left that star chip there, and, here we go. Sorry, I turned on the audio. It's getting kind of loud because I'm wearing earbuds. So let's talk to this. Wait, my... Get me out of here! One of those enemies should have the key. You can shake the wing up, spin them around, and make them dizzy. Once it's done, you just run into them. Or you can go back down here, spin to this, go for the uh, gun that looks different, and kill him. Get the key. That simple. And my. I got turned around. Thanks! You might risk being my buddy and that's face up there too. I'll transform into the same star. Just jump into me after I transform! Bam! Okay, and just like here, we have to beat down this Mega Goomba. Or a uh, big Goomba. Anyway, lower him. Shake that. Squish! He got killed by his own body weight. How sad. Anyway. Gonna do this here. Move! I wanna go down the pipe. Fine. Talk to you. Hurry down here. I've been waiting we've been waiting for you. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. That's a grand star. We have to save it. Dude, using the Grand Star to make that awful machine, it looks like it's making something. We have to do something before the Grand Star's power is drained. Quick, find a way to that terrible machine. 
Anyway, these are flip switches. Once you go over them, they'll turn a different color. Basically, oh wow, that's cool. We have to turn all the yellow switches blue. That's all we have to do in order to stop this. If I can get over there. No, duh, I knew what to do. I'm the Let's Player. You're the dumb NPC. That's how it goes. And on the flip switch. Thank you. God. And Nintendo, you and your effects. Show off. And look, that Luma was actually spazzing out. That was cool. We got a grand star. There we go. Beacon is lit again. It shines weak. Maybe it only is right as his class six star. But at least the four limbs was right now. Oh, thank you for saving the grand star. These star people are my family. They're mean to so much. It means so much for me. Welcome to the common observatory. It's my home and also the limbs. You see, we travel the starry skies. We pass by this area once every hundred years, but we stop suddenly in front of this planet. A strange force that latched on to our ship pointing away star bits and our power source. Power source. Our ship has lost power, so we are in a deep hibernation state in which it cannot move. Dose took your special and picked up the power source and discovered the power across the universe. Mm -hmm. I have a request. Mm -hmm. This observatory uses star power to project images of the galaxies that are scattered across space. And there's a chance we can use our few remaining stars to look for mm -hmm. other power stars. These round rooms are called domes. We observe galaxies from domes such as these. But the only one that is working now, powered by the star power you restored, is this one, the Terrace. Please go to the Terrace and try to recover the power stars from the galaxies you can see from there. If we do that, we will be able to restore the common territory's ability to fly like a starship. Then perhaps we can do the things who ran off the power stars. Anyway, yeah, that's basically it. Bowser, who's the main enemy, you guys all know that, made off with the power stars, and now has power beyond belief. And now the commons already cannot move. Thus, the Star Festival cannot continue. Let's go ahead and go in here. Welcome! This dome acts as an eye of the observatory. From here, we can gaze upon distant galaxies. Once this lumen transforms into a pole star, we will guide you to those faraway galaxies. Simply point your wee point your pointer at the pole star and press A. So basically that lumen just killed himself and used himself for science. Just like everything in Mario. These are the galaxies that can be observed from the stone. The number represents their distance from the observatory. The bigger the number, the greater the distance. The more power stars you find, the farther you'll be able to travel. Anyway, we only have one galaxy open, so... We're gonna head to Good Egg Galaxy. Yes, it's undeniable. We're detecting power star energy patterns in the nearest galaxy. But I must warn you that the evil energy rings are off the charts. Please be careful. You know me, guys. I'm never careful. Anyway, let's go. It's a good egg out.
we'll have to cover the star in the next episode. Sorry guys, I, well, actually, I've got five minutes. If it comes down to it, I'll turn it into a second part. So, let's go ahead and handle Good Egg Galaxy Dino Piranha. That's some big egg. Yep. Anyway, now what you can do is triple jump up here to this house, go into the pipe, and you enter a secret room. No, I can't wall jump, because I think that area is actually sand, that's why you can't wall jump up that. Anyway, uh, what you can do now is follow these tunes. There we go. And we got an extra life there. Yeah, that's how most of the bonuses are gonna go, where you have to like follow the trail music notes and collect the life in the process. Ow! Stupid fail. Anyway. I want to show you guys how much, how this gravity in this game can affect so much. And a lot of people use the gravity for speedrunning. Just watch this. Wahoo! I love doing that. For some reason, whenever I get bored and I have this game in my Wii, I always go on it, go into a random galaxy, and just like, mess around with the gravity. It's so fun. Anyway, speedrunning tactics, because I really need to speedrun. Because I only have three minutes left, and I gotta hurry up and finish this thing. Anyway, let's go ahead and no, no, don't get hit, don't get hit. Surprisingly enough, I didn't get hit. Ow! I did right there. Anyway, um, you see those rocks? You spin in there where the uh, gems are. You can actually get started. I think these are supposed to be like igneous rocks or sedimentary rocks. Oh, that's for sure. Anyway, um, uh, there. Here we go. And now, let's do this. By the way, I have to praise the music in this game. It is amazing. Everyone, I, I, everyone who has this game loves the music. I think I can compare um, this music to something like Okami. But not really Okami, but. I do think this song actually got reused for um, a later Galaxy and uh, uh, Galaxy 2. Anyway, I'm gonna show you guys the speed run. If you go in here, you can actually skip part of this level. Hit that dude with a um, coconut plant and you can kill him instantly. Some people like to step on his head, I just like doing that. Anyway, spin on the spine. Mm -hmm. And if you hit this dude, coming, coming, I have a time limit. He's invisible. He's not supposed to be trained, like, able to go through you. Like, doesn't make any sense. Anyway, if you come back here, you can get alive. It's simple as that. Anyway, let's go ahead and sweet. I'm actually making good time on this. I think I'm actually, actually may get the boss done before 15 minutes. Wow. Oh, for, I totally forgot to spin that there. Spec! Anyway, hit the big ball on the tail, and... Oh no, Mr. Flyer, he's pissed! This is Dino Piranha, the first boss fight in the game. Basically what you want to do is do the same thing you did to crack up him up in front of the shell. Just hit him with his tail. By spinning in that simple, and I can't believe I got hit on this. Jeez. It's like the easiest boss fight, and I got hit on it. I just an old fighter boss fight. Come here, Nick. All right, guys, that ends of this episode off here. I'll see you guys in the next episode of Super Mario Galaxy. When we go tackle more galaxies, more stars in here. And quite more power stars. I'll see you guys in the next episode. This is the Furious Flames signing out.